So imagine you had a library of all the 3D models you've ever rendered in Keyshot, and you could just drag and drop them into your scene, and they'd be ready to render with materials already applied. Fortunately, we can do this. Yep, setting up your Keyshot scene is typically a time-consuming process, but with the fairly recent addition of the models library, we can drag and drop entire 3D models into the real-time view to quickly build up an entirely three-dimensional scene. So if you haven't taken advantage of this feature, I'll walk you through how to build up a library of drag and drop reusable models along with some best practices and how to use them to speed up your workflow. Sounds good? Let's dive in. So our first step is gonna to be to import our model. I will drag the file into the real-time view within Keyshot. Now this is an FBX file and I bought it from, I think, CG Trader. And when I hit import, yeah, so it comes in with some basic textures already applied. And if I look at them though, they don't look realistic. That's because in Keyshot by default, they are diffuse materials. Diffuse materials are not very realistic looking. So I'm gonna to have to work on that because I wanna make sure the materials look ready to render before I save this to the model's library. Now, one other thing I wanna point out is the environment. When you launch Keyshot, it starts up with the startup environment and it's not high contrast enough to really produce very good reflections or highlights. So I'm gonna change it to this three panels straight 4K studio environment. And this will provide me with some better lighting for when I convert these materials or, or make them look more realistic. So now I'm gonna work on these materials for a little bit just to make sure they're ready to render before I save this to the material library. All right, so now that I'm happy with how these materials look on the model, I wanna save it to my model's library. But before we do that, we have to consider a few things. First, we'll go to the model's library tab. You'll see with the existing models within my library, some of them are pretty easy to see. For example, we've got an M&M and we've got some plants. But if we look here, this thumbnail is very confusing. And so is this one here. And this one just kind of blends in here. So what I'm suggesting is that we make sure we consider getting our real-time view to be a good thumbnail before we save to our library. So I'm gonna adjust my camera angle so I'm happy with it. And then also, if you haven't already, by turning off the HDRI visibility and setting a solid color backdrop, that will make a nice solid white background that will be easy to see your model against. So if you wanna take the most direct path to learning Keyshot, then check out my Keyshot rendering masterclass. It's already helped hundreds of others level up, including designers from Nike, Dell, Logitech, Sonos, Garmin, Trek, Pepsi, and lots of others. See, I designed the Keyshot rendering masterclass to be the most comprehensive course available while still making it super easy to understand. And what makes it different is the unique combination of bite-sized feature-based videos coupled with follow-along project-based lessons. This course will help you build an intuitive understanding of how Keyshot works. Then you'll be able to create and explore within Keyshot without getting bogged down by the technical aspects of the software. My goal is to help you convert your ideas to digital images. When you enroll, you'll get access to over 100 video lessons, quizzes, an active comments section, private Discord server channel, and project files to maximize your learning. So check out the link in the description below to learn more. I hope to see you there. So once I've done this, I wanna actually save this to the library. I'm gonna click this icon right here to the right of the search bar, and we should get a few options or choices. Now we need to name it, so I'm gonna call this uh, low slung armchair, and then we can choose which folder to save it in. I personally save all my models in a custom folder called custom, and you can see here when I, uh, work with client models, I actually save them to a separate library to keep them totally separate and safe. In the case that a client needs me to re-render something, it's on hand. So from here, we can look at what we want to include. And in my case, I just want to include the geometry. Now our materials will be saved with the model. We don't need to worry about that. I don't want to bring in any cameras, environments, or image styles because in most cases, this is just going to be a model that gets added to a scene. And uh, this is the default option. So we're just going to leave this as is and hit create. And you'll see we should have a thumbnail right there. Another thing to consider is the aspect ratio of our real-time view is the aspect ratio that gets adopted in the model library. That bothers me a little bit. I wish uh, Keyshot would just standardize it so they're all the same. It would look a lot nicer, but uh, it is what it is. At this point, 
I'm going to show you uh, how quickly we can go ahead and build a scene using saved uh, library models. All right, so here we are in a brand new Keyshot scene. Let's see how quickly we can build up a new 3D environment. Now, one thing I want to mention before I start dragging models in is that it's a lot easier to manage your scene if you create some empty model sets first. So I'm going to call this one armchair because we know we're going to use an armchair. And of course, I'll just drag our armchair model right into our new model set. Next up, I want to disable this model set and create a new one. I'll call this plants. And then we'll grab one of our plant models and drag that in. And how about another one? So we have our plants. Let's go ahead and create another model set. This time I'm gonna call this one table. And we'll drag our marble table into the scene. And finally, we'll create one more model set. And this time I'll call it cabinet. And I'll drag my cabinet into my scene. Make sure I rotate that guy around. So now as we turn on all these different model sets, you'll see we have a bunch of different models. They're all kind of overlapping, that's okay. But what's nice and easy at this point, all we have to do is compose them in our scene. So we'll go ahead and grab the table, move that on over here, grab my armchair, rotate that guy. And if you're curious how I'm moving it quickly, I'm just selecting it in the scene tree and then hitting Control D as in Delta to grab the move tool and you can just kind of move your, move your object around nice and easily. All right, and just like that, we've got our scene more or less populated. Now this is still using the startup environment, so remember in most cases, we would likely use something with a little bit more contrast. We could either use, say, a studio environment if we're going for something a little more basic, or maybe we play around with a, more of a interior type environment. And in this case, just rotate it around till we get our lighting right. Uh, this is a little bit dark, so I'll bring up the brightness. And I don't wanna see the environment, we're just gonna use it for lighting, so I'll hit color for the solid backdrop. And now we have some nice cool and warm tones coming in. And maybe for our backdrop, instead of white, we'll go for kind of a nice light blue, maybe a grayish blue. And for some of our render settings, I'm gonna go into product mode so it looks a little bit more realistic. All right, there you go. Hopefully you found that one useful. My recommendation for you is to get into the habit of saving models to your library. So anytime I buy or download a new model that I think I could see myself reusing in the future, I'll go ahead and save that to the library before I build my scene. That way I have it in the future. Eventually you'll have a nice robust library of reusable assets that will save you a ton of time, guaranteed. So if you like this video and you could see it helping somebody else, do me a favor and share the love. And until next time, happy rendering.